Well, hey guys, Drewski here. Today we're doing some Vietnam Rising Storm 2. I guess it's the other way around. Rising Storm 2 Vietnam. But probably one of my favorite games to come out in the last 10 years. Uh, this game is about almost seven Alpha. years old. When May rolls around, it'll be seven. And we're being suppressed from up this hill. Do I have anything for that? I have smokes. You know what? I'll just toss smokes up in front of us. We're taking some fire from up there. I think we're capturing the village right now by laying in these grasses. What are these? Are these like peppers? No, they're strawberries. I think they're strawberries. They're two-dimensional little strawberry things. Oh, we got a flamethrower though. That is a extremely dangerous weapon. So dangerous that he just team killed on accident. <laughs> Rising Storm 2 always just had a really unique, asymmetric style of gameplay that I've always really liked, and I wish was in more games. And if you never got to play it, it had a really good method of keeping the factions very unique with different asymmetric, like, abilities between the factions. The US guys, you can spawn on your squad leader, similar to something like uh, Battlefield, uh, but then the Vietnamese, the North Vietnamese Army, and the Pavan and all them, they have, uh, they have the ability to dig trenches and, and tunnels and uh, not trenches but tunnels where you can spawn in at certain points so they can kind of create stealthy flanking routes i don't think i hit that guy at all but also something exploded with napalm oh no i did i hit a barrel i guess that caught him on fire yeah they've okay so they've set traps here oh that's a grenade on you buddy grenade oh no <laughs> Oh, he just got exploded. Okay, I'm gonna sneak down here. Also, this was one of the first games I can remember that had crouch sprinting, which I really like. I feel like crouch sprinting, especially for any game that includes trenches, is very, very important to the feeling of running through a trench and trying to stay low. Holy crap, especially if you want the game to still be kind of fast paced too. But also the graphics are just great too. Like this is a 2017 game. And it does have, like, obviously some limitations to seven years later, but is that a bad thing for a seven-year-old, or an almost seven-year-old game? I don't know. Also, it's got a kind of a dead zone to the weaponry, too. Always had a dead zone to the, to the guns, which is something from, something like Insurgency has. Insurgency also has a dead zone like that. I'm smoking them out if you want to cross in a second. And there's a lot of moments like that, where the time to kill is so fast, and when you die, you don't hear anything. So, what are we being shot at by? So when you get headshot in this game, all you hear is a tiny little thook, and that's it. That's all you heard. You don't hear yourself scream. You don't even hear the battle continue. Your brain gets turned into mush. Realism. Fun, immersive realism. Oh, I forgot you can choose the M14 as a rifleman. That's neat. This is a community map as well. And uh, this one's got this like huge beach area over here. You flow in from a like an LHD of sorts, I think. <laughs> it looked like a cargo ship now that I looked a little closer at it. Uh, then you got like rice patties. It's a pretty map, very pretty map. And I'm getting, yep, I should, I, I should have checked the map and noticed that there's nobody to the right. I wonder why. Okay, so we have no friendlies inside on the right side. I'm gonna throw some frags in there. Uh, and then my friendlies push in. You're right where I just threw my frag. Okay, good. Uh oh. Oh, oh no. Oh no, we need to get inside. Before we turn into- No, no! <laughs> The friendly nape, it's friendly nape off. Oh my gosh. Did you check your airspeed, bud? Wow, yeah, good, good job. Just get it. Just get it. Heard a grenade land off to my right. 
I heard another one. Oh, that was lucky. Oh. Was that was that one right? I don't I don't know what I just saw. Oh, I forgot the. He's top loading it. Interesting. I guess technically there's no. Uh. Uh. Oh. Sorry. I'm gonna type sorry. Sorry. You gotta type sorry in these games. So you gotta respect the homies that you take down. Oh sh. Oh my. <laughs> oh, almost took my legs off. We're looking good. We're we're honestly the boys just came together there and pulled through on this objective. I know last time me and the helicopter pilot didn't really vibe, but maybe this time. You know, may look at this. Look at this approach. He's going to J hook behind Delta. It's going to be perfectly fine. Nothing can go wrong. He's got this plan in his head. He's been planning this execution for years. He's going in. He's doing a great landing. He did great. He did good. Landed us 200 meters from the objective. Already Not bad. Take Put us on a flank. Not bad. Look at this. Look at us. Uh-oh. Where's the Viet Cong? Where'd he go? I know he's over here. He's... I just know that Charles is out there, you bastards. Huh? Oh, he's in that rice paddy now. Oh, there he is. We are taking <laughs> Delta. <laughs> the Plan B pill was his name. Rest in peace. Should have gone for Plan C. I don't even think I have to hit, like, the major organs with this gun. If I just hit someone in the torso, they're donezo. They're, they're ripperonis. Oh, there's one. Them. They're so fast. That's what you get when you don't have to wear a flak jacket and a helmet. And Recon is in the air. 87 rounds of ammunition. You just, you just. Oh. But it's really easy to see the naked shirt dudes against the green grass. I think. Did I not drop him? He dropped. But I, I hit him. I'm just gonna get into this tall grass here and then start going prone. I have a feeling that the, uh, Take oh, cover. napalm right there. Beautiful. Commander, mwah. God bless you. We needed some snake and nape right now. And that is a beautiful little line he made. Look at that diagonal. Yeah, buddy. Landed a little long, but that's all right. Still got the point across. Holy crap, it killed so many. It killed four? We are taking Echo. Less than I thought. I thought the scoreboard was going to go a little bit faster, but we're on Echo now. Get in there, boys. Get in there. Am I not in? Am I? Am I? Oh, I'm in. Oh, I just... Okay, that's a smoke grenade. Woo. Holy. Okay, I'm gonna load. So if you expend the whole mag, then you do have to do a full magazine reload. But if you are a partial reload, just your grenades landing everywhere, then you have to, uh, then you top load, which is kind of a cool feature. We have taken Echo. A little different, a little realistic, I guess. <gasps> no, no, no. So sorry, we are defect. So sorry. <laughs> you ran directly into it. I forgot my local VoIP hotkey as soon as he started running forwards. Oh, there's, there's a tunnel there. Recon is in the air. Usually people will forgive you for, uh, team killing with grenades in this game though just because grenades are so hard to see like you'll hear them and, uh, oh oh saw a little rice hat little pith hat whatever those called straw hat we are taking fox oh, almost killed my buddy 
I think was he just flamethrowered? I didn't Oh yeah, he was. He's he's toast. He's burnt toast. <laughs> oh god. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, I got killed with a bar. Although I do like that M14. I feel like that's a little bit better of a, of a long range puncher rather than the spray that the M16A1 is good at. That thing is a good one tapper. Are we? Oh, we already capped this. Nice. Good job, boys. But the M16 is great for exactly that like range right there. You just spray and it's going to hit somewhere on them. That's a grenade. Who tossed that? They're marking enemies out there. Is that? That was an enemy, but he's dead. Gosh, look at this game, though. <laughs> like, this is modded map 2007. Or 2000, not 7. That's Halo. Uh, 2017. Game just looks great. And it depends on the map. Some maps will make me uh, definitely uh, a little heated just because they're just meat grinders, but so was Vietnam. Uh, maps like this, though, are really fun, really dynamic, and have a lot of pretty vistas and stuff. It's fun to, fun to fight through maps like this. Lots of little cover, lots of micro terrain. Oh, this is a big open spot here. I don't like this at all. I think a lot of people are going to be hiding right behind this bush in front of me. So I'm probably going to pre-nade. Nade out front. Right around that corner, Necro. Careful. Recon is in here. I don't know where the VCR if they're not here. This is a good spot for them to hide. <laughs> Look at this place. This is cool. Yeah. Sneak up this here. I see muzzle flash. I shot at the muzzle flash a lot. Didn't hit anything, I don't think. Grenades being thrown over here? I wonder if flanking on the left is the right call. RPGs being... Did I not? Did I not? That's the dude. That's the dude I saw earlier. Okay. You know what? I, I kind of like the M14. I don't know. I kind of liked it. I kind of liked it. I'm going back. I know I just switched to the M16, but I kind of like the M14. It was slapping, all right? It was It was good. Recon it was the best. It was the greatest. The M14, I told them. I told them that the M14 was the best, and they went with that, that small plastic toy gun instead. The, I don't know why I turned into Trump. Pull the lever, Kronk, the drill instructor said. Ah, but it's not just any lever. The bolt of the M14, like a trusty sidekick in the army of life. Precision, power, and a dash of classic charm. <laughs> it's the rival that's got your back. A perfect blend of fusion, if you will, of steel and walnut wood. Oh yeah, it's all come together. We need smoke so badly. Oh, hey, there's some Willy Pete. That kind of works. We are taking gold. Oh, helicopter? Not a good spawn location, going to another one. Something happening here. But what it is ain't exactly clear. Uh, there's a man with a gun over there. Actually, it's my cat. He really wants attention. Dylan to me, I got to beware. Just in case. Honestly, that's the M60's job. Just start pre-shooting it. That has to be a... Oh! <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna nade that tunnel. Did that get in? That got in. One of those did. Where does that tunnel go? To the left? I'm just gonna hold this. So if they're coming that way, they're gonna keep coming. Yep. Those little black uniforms are actually quite interesting. Those were used a lot by the VC and the different armies. And uh, they had the black uniforms, little straw hats, and uh, Tricom chest tricks a lot. 
Oh, disarm trapped? Oh my gosh. I would have never seen that thing. Terrifying. I would have never seen it. All right, so with the marksman kit, you get a, uh, a 2x magnified scope and an M1 Grand. I'm actually pretty fast. Looks like our guys are already getting hit. Oh, yeah. I don't know what the correct crosshair aiming point is on this. I would guess the cross. I don't think it's the tip of the bar. Maybe it is. Maybe it's the tip of the bar. Pachink! Oh, I think I dropped him. Or someone did right as I did. I got an assist. Okay, yeah. So I hit him in the, in the side or something. And there's a way to... Oh, so when you scroll, you're ranging. Okay. I hit him once. Didn't kill him there, though. Got that guy. Got that guy. Got that guy. Yeah, marksman kit's okay. Oh! A, a hand-thrown grenade? I am 200 meters back from the front line, what? Oh, <laughs> How many, how many did it kill? Did it kill two? Just two. Someone's in this forest. I do like that I can toggle between uh, sites here. That's really cool, actually. I'm, I'm, I forgot that this game had a lot of cool features like that. Oh, he's already dead. I think I hit him. Yep, got him in the head gotta work this brush here oh I just saw him run oh oh <laughs> there's a lot of blood coming off that man oh I got him nice Alpha is being attacked he just got killed by I think that's a guy yep oh that was an RPG I've been used to sniping with like <laughs> I've been I've been playing armor 3 and Astazi which uh, I've been primarily playing with an M16. So it's a 20 inch barrel 5.56 shooting MA 55 a one So that's like the fastest velocity you can imagine. That thing's screaming when it comes out. W what? What? Huh? I'm super confused. Recon I've got to look back at the footage. How did I miss those first two? I understand missing the other, like, 18 of them, but those first two are crazy. Napalm inbound. Take cover. I do hear VC shooting. Oh, got one. Wow. <laughs> and I think he's alive. I think I hit him just in the arm. There's another one there. I just saw his little pith helmet. Come on, buddy. Come on, peek up. I know you're still in that hole. I see your little helmet moving around. Oh, our guys are pushing those holes. Look at him go. Oh, <laughs> oh, he got taken out though. By that guy. Man, that was cool though. I think there must be a tunnel spawn in there or something. They just keep... Oh. Oh, he killed them all. Good for him, and he's down. Oh, man. War is heck. War is very much heck. <laughs> Just gotta get on. Kill 50 enemies with sniper rifles. Nice. There's a dude right in front of me. He's right in Party front of me. Party inbound. Take cover. Got him. 
didn't even see him other than just like part of his pith helmet. Whew. I bet this looks terrible on YouTube. Me running through the brush like that, I bet the bitrate is just suffering. Oh no. The, the grass to my east is speaking Vietnamese. Someone just tried to Molotov me. That's quite a few. That is quite a few. Jeez, dude. I'm gonna get flanked any second now. I don't even understand what could possibly be happening in the grand scheme of things in this battle. Charlie is being attacked. I'm just in a bush. And there's people running up to me and I'm just trying to hold the bush and there's more people running up and I'm just killing more and more. It's a good time, but it also is very scary. And I don't think this game is fun anymore at this point. I don't think I'm having fun. I'm just scared. This is just, I don't like horror games. And this turned from a fun little, little hey, let's go. Let's go explore the jungle to, um, I'm about to die in a bush. You know, it's not exactly Party the gameplay I look for. <laughs> um, someone just said, here it comes Charlie. in all caps. Oh no. I'm gonna die. I'm dead. In, in one, two, Three, I'm dead. <laughs> Good game. Is it still worth playing in 2024? Hell yeah. Good game. Is it a little clunky? Yeah. Will you have to hunt for the right server? Maybe, yeah. But damn. It's uh, it's a, it's still a unique game. There's still not a first person shooter like it right now. Nothing, nothing comes close to like the, just the dynamic feel of like, the devs definitely, when they made this game, they 100% said, how do we make this Napalm battlefield sort of formula feel different? How do we make each faction different? How do we make each role different? How do we make everybody have a, ow, wow, damn, have a utility? This is terrible. Oh, I don't like this at all. I don't like this. This game isn't fun anymore. Holy crap, I hit him. I hear grenades everywhere. Yeah, fucky, get to F. Holy. Oh, someone to my left just killed him. Oh. Return to the combat area. No, why now? No! <laughs> Our team is deciding not even to take or defend Echo. It's not even worth it, apparently. So they're just going to go straight to F. Which is an interesting tactical decision. Can we even see them from here? Oh, yeah, we can. 
I'm gonna range this out to 400. Oh yeah, we're picking them. This is awesome. <laughs> you know, maybe Vietnam was cool. Echo is being attacked. Yo, no one move up on E. We have, we have to save tickets. Oh, there's still more. There's still more. Uh... This is an awesome position for a machine gun. <laughs> Whoa! I think we're getting picked off up here. Oh, my bipod isn't... Uh, I can't really get a good spot here without revealing myself like crazy. There we go. There's this kind of a spot, but I'm gonna get headshot any second. We have lost Echo. Oh, I got him at the end. I'm getting shot at, dude. <laughs> there was someone ranged like 50 meters low, and that's the only reason I'm alive right now. Uh-oh. Well, better replace him. Come on, bipod. Come on, bipod. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, I don't like this. I hate how, how much you have to commit to the window. They're close. They're close. Just killed one southwest. Very close. Let him let him get close to us, boys. Let him move up the hill, lob a bunch of grenades. What if I just want to? Whoa! <laughs> Recon is in the air. What if I want to kill them out far away though? I'm killing. I'm bleeding their tickets. I think he means like don't push out to them. Let them come to us. Oh. Did I just see? Yep, 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 yep. No, why did I on ADS? Why is my brain, why is my brain just stupid? Why am I stupid? Someone's plinking at me. <laughs> just two minutes, lads. That's all we need. Throw the barbed wire close. They're close. They're very close. Left. Left, mama. Left. Very close. Outside, outside the window. <laughs> Holy crap. This is insane. Gotta hold it back. No! <laughs> Let's go! Oh my gosh, this game goes hard! We gotta hold them for one more minute and then we win. Just one minute. Damn, we're at 42 kills. <laughs> Is that it? I hear grenades. Oh, grenade just triple killed. Oh, no. Look at this. There's a mess hall here. Lots of different food. Bananas. MRE rations. Cans of food. They're doing dishes. They're in this. the wire, boys. I'm just, I'm just distracted by the mess hall. Sorry, coach. That was lucky. I bipod, I bipoded just in time. Who's suppressing me? Why am I being suppressed? Victory. Do we lose? Oh, we won! Let's go! Woo! GG. Good game. Good game, guys. Damn. Damn. M60, the pig. Mm. Good game. Thanks for watching. <laughs> I'll see you next one. <laughs>